Hello beautiful people, how are you all doing? Hope you are doing great. You are welcome to Joy Uzo TV. If this is your first time of coming across my video, you are very welcome. In this video, I will be showing you how I made this whole lace wig from start to finish. I will also be showing you how you can get a perfect airline for the already made full lace wig without an airline, how to create it. We will be needing Swiss lace, pins, measuring tape, eyebrow pencil, scissors and a wig cap. I will measure 12 by 8. I needed uh, 6 inches at the front but 2 inches allowance. From one part of my ear to the other is 12, um, 11 and a half inches. But if I'm taking it from the top of my head, it's 13 inches. My full head, the circumference is 23 inches. From one part to the other is uh, 11 and a half. While from at the back also is 11 and a half, making 23 inches. But I will be taking 12 inches each, leaving one inch allowance for the boat. Okay. So after cutting out my my front eye, I just go ahead and cut it as you can see in the video. Now I'm about to take the back measurement. I'm also taking 12 inches by 8 at the back. Guys, I have made this full lace wig cap how to make the full lace cap before, but I got a better idea on how not to waste your lace, a lot of lace, and also how to get the airline from the already made full lace cap in case you bought your full lace cap with that airline how you can get it so i will be explaining it in the last part of the video so guys what i'm doing here i took two and a half inches from the top coming down i took two and a half inches then at the side i took two inches so i'm just going to curve that part as you can see in the video For the middle part of the lace, I will go ahead and take 10 and half inches by 5 and half. The reason I'm taking 5 and half instead of 5 inches is because I want to fold the lace, like I want to turn it inside. That is the difference between the, this one and the one I made before. This is more professional. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. After cutting out the middle lace, I'm just going to cut out about from three inches. I will just curve it from three inches. So this is what they are looking like. The middle lace, the um back lace and the front lace and this two piece is to cover the strap the lace to cover the strap so i'm just going to remove this uh, strap and the back where you hook it to the wig cap is still very useful okay it's not a waste so this is what i meant by i'm going to curve it inside i just turn it inside then before i will just sew it i want it to look more of the, that um, already made one so this is more professional than the one I did the last time. After sewing guys, I'm going to place the lace on the, the straight part as you can see. The straight part is where I'm going to sew to the back. I will just continue to curve it until I get to the last part. Okay guys, let me quickly explain what I meant by placing your lace vertically and uh, measuring it horizontally it means that the grids of the lace like if you have bought a, a frontal closure or a full lace wig before you know how it's placed so the grids should be on a straight line vertically facing you while you, you measure horizontally to the other side to the side of it it should be the grids should be on a straight line facing you and you measure uh, horizontally okay
losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief there's something that'll have what you need, what you need. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic. So guys, you can see what it's looking like at the moment, like the cap, okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and create a dart at the, at the top. At the two side, I will just create a small dart there, and you will see the effect of the dart also on the on the frontal. The lace is looking very straight now, but after creating that dart, you will see that it's going to be different. It's going to give it a cap shape at the at the front at the frontal part. You will see it soon. So what I did next, I just joined the back, the back and the front together. I put the frontal under, then put the other one that I that I curved and so the one that I aimed at the back, at the top. Okay, the frontal on down, while the one that I turned inside and sewed before on the top. So I go ahead and pin it down before sewing it. I placed the middle of the front and the middle of the back in one straight line before pinning it down. Okay, so I started my sewing from the middle, then to one side of the cap, then from the other, the remaining part at the middle, then to the other side of the cap. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need what you need we're broken it's tragic we're not all elastic but maybe there's magic believe you could have it and i know of sadness the anxious this is what the cap is looking like at the moment i'm just going to sew down the the side again like a double sewing only at the side i did not sew the top part of it After that, I will sew down the small piece to cover the scrap. It should be bigger than the scrap so that you will not sew through it when you are sewing it. Okay? Okay guys, I'm going to take from the front where I want the airline to be to the back 15 inches, like from the front to the back is 14, uh, 13 and a half inches. I added one and a half inch allowance, but if your head is smaller, you can take from 5 inches then to the back, okay? So I turn the lace in half at the front, at the frontal part. So I get my middle, that's where I will start my measurement. I'm going to take 2 inches, then another 2 inches, then remaining not up to 2 inches, okay, at the ear part. This measurement I'm taking, I, I tried to, I curved it, the uh, point is not on a straight line. 
it's curved so i'm going to draw the airline by curving it from the middle part then i meet at the first two inches then take it up curve it down to meet at the second two inches and take it up and curve it down at the ear part this drawing will also be showing at the other side of the of the lace i'm also going to trace that out okay if you bought a full lace wig without an airline this is the same way you should draw it but the one you are you 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 will be using already have a strap i took one and a half inches from the airline to the parts that i want the the adjustable strap to be that's one and a half inches that's what i measured um, before this clip so that's what i measured i'm just going to curve it from that part i did not straighten it i just curved it uh, downward okay this lace i am using guys i bought it on aliexpress it's a swiss lace the color is dark brown they have different colors so I'm going to drop the link in the description box in case you are interested. Okay guys. So guys, I just go ahead and pin down the the strap to the cap and also I will sew down the back part where you hook the strap to. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab a slippery surface a heart attack? This is more professional than the one I made before. The difference is that the top part of the cap, I did not turn it. We're broken, it's tragic. We're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic. Believe you could have it, and I know a sad. Okay, now that we are done, I'm going to show you how you can get the airline from the already made cap. Okay, guys, you will just take your measurements, like from like mine for mine. From the front to where the the sewing, where I joined the frontal and the, the back side, six inches. Then I I will just take it at to the back, which is 15 inches. Then I, I mark the point at that strap. Already you have your strap there. Then at the ear part, the you can see we are showing now. From that part to the front, one and a half inches. Then you pin it down and take your measurement. The one I did before, I said measurement. You take the airline, the way I did it before, drawing the airline. So it's just take from that middle to the back. If you have a smaller head, you can take uh, from the airline to that sewing part, five inches, then to the back. Then at the ear part, you just take one and a half inches before drawing your airline. And you get the perfect airline on that cap. You can see what I'm demonstrating, okay? If you found this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Like, share, and comment. Also like and follow my page. If you are a returning subscriber or a returning viewer, you guys are the box. Thanks for always stopping by. I really appreciate you. God bless you.
feel free to check out my other videos and i will see you in my next videos love you Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need What you need We're broken, it's tragic We're not all elastic But maybe there's magic Believe you can